Chicago Kids. <laughs> What's good? Thank you so much for letting me come through and talk oh, to you. No problem. Thanks for having me. So how are you finding London? I love London. London is um, an amazing place, amazing people. Um, I have a few friends here as well. Have friends close by that meet me here, like Shawnee. So, nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to have friends when you go somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, you ever went somewhere and somebody, you went to the same place someone else went to and um, they had a terrible time, but you had an amazing time? Yeah. That type of thing just reminds me that you have to be with good people. Yeah, 100%. Good people helps you understand the place and get to the places where you need to be and stay from where you don't need to be. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that's always a plus. How many times have you been over here? Quite a lot? Or? I stopped counting maybe about five times ago. So. <laughs> I've been coming here for, man, since maybe 2002, 2003 maybe. Okay. Yeah. So you feel at home here? Yeah, I love London. Good stuff. And y'all got Nando's. Yeah, we do have Nando's. <laughs> you have it in one state in America, right? Yeah, we have it in Chicago, D.C. Yeah, in Chicago, okay. We have it in a couple places, yeah. Because I was in New York and I was like, where's the Nando's at? But yeah, not California yet either. I live in California now, okay. but no Nando's yet there, but, you know. Uh, it will come soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, so let's talk about the new album. Let's do it. Obviously, 1123. Um, 11.23. Drops on the 26th yeah. of July. Come on, you know your homework. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can you talk to us a bit about the project in general? Yes, Um. 11.23 is my baby. It's my new baby. Um, it comes out July 26. Um, I've worked with um, some of the people I've always worked with that have kind of helped us um, get to where we are. And we've been blessed to work with some people we've been fans of forever, like Danger, Cool and Dre, Afro Jack, um, a few other people as well. Um, we have a lot of amazing features on there as well. Rick Ross, Eric Bellinger, uh, Anderson Pack, Buddy Jid. Kent Jams. I mean, uh, we even have a cover of Close on there by LMA, which is definitely a, a UK favorite as well. So we having a lot of fun on this album, um, giving you another dimension to BJ. Worrying About Me is probably one of my favorite tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, Feel the Vibe. Come on, you and know I love it. that as well. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Love it, love it. So I'm looking forward to that dropping. Are you going to do a show out here? Or? Um, not this particular visit, but we will be back very soon. We're, we're going to do a world tour um, coming up very soon. Um, we start the US leg in another four or five weeks. Okay. So. Yeah, it's about to go down really soon. I'm excited. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. So on my show, I like to go back to the very beginning. Okay. So I know you've done lots of stuff. You work with loads of people. But mm -hmm. when did like your music journey start when you were younger? Um, it started in church. Um, I'm the youngest of three boys. Um, it started at my house as well. Um, my dad played soul music all day long, from washing the car to barbecuing to just riding around the town, handling the business, running to the bank, whatever he had to do. You know that he was the soul king. Like he broke all of that down from who was what, where they come from. Um, what song I may know them from, you know how the whole thing goes. Yeah. And my mom, um, she was the, 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 the one that nurtured the voice and um, my brothers helped me put the, the newness to it. It, it, it. Like the whole family kind of plays a part into um, what I sound like. My whole family can sing a little bit, just who wants to sing that day. <laughs> who were your inspirations growing up, like music wise? Who were you listening um, to? Everybody from the Clark sisters to the Winans to Commission to John P. Key, the Daryl Coley's, then you got the Joe Decees, you got the Jagged Edges, the the Joe, the Joes, the Ushers, the yeah. I mean, the list goes on and on. Now, I mean, I've always um, been amused and been a fan of potent music, mm -hmm. something that uh, is very magnetic. Even as a child, I understood. Um, and I will love you so for always. I used to understand those songs as a kid. Yeah. So. Um, to, to have that type of mind and heart and understanding, I feel like um, it was only evident that I would be doing this for a living. Cool. Yeah. Love that. Um, obviously, you've worked with a lot of people, so yeah. I ask this question on the show a lot. If you could do a dream collaboration with someone, but dead or alive, mm -hmm. do you know who that would be? Uh, Stevie Wonder. Yes. Yeah. Stevie yeah, Wonder. very good pick. Yeah. Um, so we also run this um, Young UK Rapper of the Year competition on my show. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of like young producers, rappers, singers that listen and watch the show. Mm -hmm. Is there any advice that you can give them on making with, it with music and sort of like life in general, really? Hmm. Um, be influenced, but be yourself. Um, I always want to hear more of you than your influences. Um, I think your individuality is what will take you to the next level. We all are inspired by something, by someone but you must be louder than the inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like the inspiration is, is supposed to be there, but your voice is what gets you in the history books. Your your way, your style. For sure. Yeah, Frank Sinatra, do it your way. Yeah, yeah. perfect advice, oh my God. Um, and before I let you go, because obviously I know you're really, really, really busy today. Um, UK music, doing big things. Mm -hmm. You know, people are starting to kind of take note in America, I think, like Drake's bringing people like gigs out and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah, when yeah. I was over there, Drill is starting to like, kind of get listened to. Are mm -hmm. there any like UK artists that you're specifically like feeling at the moment? Yeah, I rock with Burner Boy. Yes. Um, 
a little skeptic. Uh, LMA is a friend. I'm a fan as well. I'm a fan of my friends. <laughs> um, it's a, a, a again, the closest of, you know, on my album as well. Yeah. Um, who else? Um, man, let's go. George Smith. It's, yeah, I, I rock. With, I rock with some New York artists. And I, I'm I'm still like missing a few because my brain my brain goes blank when yeah. I ask this question. But um, yeah, I got love for them there for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, BJ the Chicago Kid, thank you so much for coming on the Queen. This show. was so fast. Thank it you. was fast. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. No worries.